Hello, student. Welcome in today's session. I am Professor Fayyaz Kavadi from Department of Mechanical Engineering, with continuation with previous module. That is, this is module number one point three, Mechanics of Sharing. In today's session, we are going to discuss the different types of cutting. That is, orthogonal and oblique cutting, and the difference differentiation point between them. that question may be asked in university exam for 6 marks this is from unit number 1 theory of metal cutting from manufacturing process to subject so student let us start all the cutting process in the machining is broadly classified as orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting whether you are cutting the material on lathe machine whether you are cutting the material in drilling machine or any shaper or milling machine all the cutting processes with help of single point cutting tool are broadly classified as per these two categories orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting so let us start one by one first is a orthogonal cutting the cutting operation in which the cutting edge of tool is perpendicular to the cutting velocity is known as orthogonal cutting the cutting operation in which the cutting edge in this figure you can see in brown color that is a single point cutting tool and this is cutting the workpiece material that you can see the workpiece material is in blue color and the tool is moving towards the workpiece workpiece so this is a cutting edge of single point cutting tool when this cutting edge is perpendicular is perpendicular to the cutting velocity or perpendicular to the direction of cutting this will be the direction of cutting and the arrow which is showing here this is the motion of the workpiece towards the tool so this will perpendicular when this cutting motion or movement of tool is perpendicular to the cutting edge this is cutting edge this is called as a orthogonal cutting here you can see the facing of turning operation turning operation which is doing on the lathe machine this is the workpiece and this is single point cutting tool this is straight line is a cutting edge this cutting edge is moving towards the workpiece from a right to left direction so that will become a feed so when the feed is when this feed is perpendicular to the cutting edge that cutting type is called as a orthogonal cutting in this type of cutting the chip flow in the direction normal to the cutting edge you can see chip is flowing normal to the cutting edge or perpendicular to the cutting edge this is cutting edge so whenever chip is flowing perpendicular to the cutting edge that type of cutting is called as a orthogonal cutting is that clear when the cutting edge is normal to the direction of motion of the workpiece or towards perpendicular towards the feed this is called as a orthogonal cutting so turning operation is called as here in this figure is orthogonal cutting so turning is the example of orthogonal cutting come to the next point that is oblique cutting the cutting operation in which the cutting edge of tool is not perpendicular or it is inclined to the cutting velocity or direction of cutting is known as oblique cutting so in this figure you can see that cutting edge this cutting edge is inclined to the direction of motion of tool or direction of motion of workpiece due to that inclination 
this type of cutting is called as oblique cutting in this type of cutting the chip flows make an angle with normal to cutting edge it is make an angle here you can see this is the cutting edge this is the straight line along the cutting edge and this line is perpendicular to the workpiece motion okay so here you can see small angle is formed and that angle is called as a inclination angle or angle of obliquity okay in oblique cutting you can see the angle of obliquity or inclination angle whereas in orthogonal cutting that angle will be zero okay now is that clear so here you can see that turning operation but tool the edge of single point cutting tool this is edge cutting edge that cutting edge and this feed these are making angle 60 degree to the cutting edge so that is called as a oblique cutting and the angle of obliquity here 60 degree that angle may vary person to person machine to machine and operator to operator now come to the differentiation point between orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting the cutting angle of tool make a right angle to the direction of motion as i discuss right now the cutting edge of tool make a right angle to the direction of motion whereas in oblique cutting the cutting angle of tool does not make a right angle that means it is at an inclination to the direction of motion this is first point that point you have to write down your examination also that question may ask for six mark the flow of chip is perpendicular to cutting edge the flow of chip is perpendicular to the cutting edge here you can see flow of chip is perpendicular to the cutting edge whereas in oblique cutting the flow of chip is inclined to cutting edge the shear force per unit area is high in oblique in orthogonal cutting as cutting edge is directly perpendicular to the flow of chip so shear force is high cutting force is high which increases the heat which increases the heat per unit area and in oblique cutting that shear force per unit area is low as compared to orthogonal cutting which decreases the heat per unit area so what is the effect of heat creation during cutting due to the large heat produces the tool has lesser cutting life or you can say the life of tool will be less and whereas in oblique cutting the tool life is more the tool has higher cutting edge so life of the tool will be more in oblique cutting fifth differentiation point is in this cutting chip flows over the tool chip flows over the tool uh, whereas in oblique cutting chip flows along the sideways so uh, the uh, wear of face wear of face in orthogonal cutting is more whereas chip flows along the sideways so the face wear wear of face will be less obvious this will affect the tool life again sixth differentiation point is surface finish is poor due to the orthogonal cutting the surface which is producing on the work piece that surface finish will be poor and in case of oblique cutting that surface finish is good why because the wear take place between work piece and chip interface that's why due to continuous rubbing action rubbing action of chip on the work piece the surface finish will will reduce and here surface finish will increase the surface finish is good in oblique cutting next two mutually perpendicular cutting force act on the work piece two mutual perpendicular force 
you can see here two mutual perpendicular force this is one force and this is perpendicular second force two mutual perpendicular force is acting in orthogonal cutting that's why this cutting is also called as a two dimensional cutting whereas in uh, oblique cutting due to the inclination of cutting edge there are three mutual perpendicular force is acting on cutting face x y and z direction so that oblique cutting is called as three dimensional cutting so next differentiation point will become here this is orthogonal cutting also called as a 2d cutting and oblique cutting is also called as a three dimensional cutting so student at the end of this session you can understood the different type of cutting and what are the differentiation point of orthogonal and oblique cutting so thank you for watching this video